Bollywood's King Khan gets death threat after back-to-back -back threats that Salman Khan has received. Now, Shah Rukh Khan gets a threat today. In fact, a call came in to the Mumbai Bandra police station claiming that uh, there is threat to Shah Rukh Khan. If he does not pay up 50 lakhs, then he could be killed. SRK received this threat call from a, from a man named Fezan Khan, a youth. Caller location has been traced back to Chhattisgarh's Raipur. The caller demanded 50 lakhs, threatening Salman Khan, if he, threatening Shah Rukh Khan that if he did not pay up, then he'll also face dire consequences. Remember, this comes right in time when Salman Khan has received multiple death threats uh, from allegedly the Lawrence Bishnoi gang. And with Baba Siddiqui's assassination very recently, this certainly can't be taken lightly. India Today has managed to speak to the suspected threat caller. He's denied his role, stating that his phone was lost on November 2nd that he had filed an FIR and that someone may have misused his phone. Let's listen in. Mumbai में बांद्रा पुलिस स्टेशन में पत्रकार कंजीबा हुआ है, जिसमें शाहरुख खान को धमकी दी गई थी। उसी के सिलसिले में पूछताछ करने के लिए मुंबई पुलिस जो है, रायपुर आई है, जहां पर पंडित थाना क्षेत्र के गिरफ्तारी से पूछताछ की जा रही है, जिसके तार इस धमकी वाली कॉल से जुड़े हुए हैं। तो अभी � most worrying part is that this kind of situation has come up in the country. This kind of, uh, this is certainly giving, sending negative vibes abroad and even within the country as far as the law and order situation is concerned. My concern is only one, that uh, so many threatening calls have come, what the police has done. Secondly, if a call had come to the police station, so I'll take it that it's a prank call, but again, we can't take it lightly. My contention and my request to the police forces all over the country is because these calls are coming from all over the country. All right, so the man who's tracked back to Chhattisgarh, allegedly the caller here, India Today has spoken with Fezan, who's denied it. His name is in fact mentioned in the FIR. He says his phone was lost. Let's hear it. We have Fezan Khan joining us, who is an advocate uh, by profession, and in fact, he's just arrived for his uh, routine proceedings, and that's why we caught him live. In fact, uh, uh, Fezan, we're going to cut directly to Fezan. What exactly happened? Uh, you are claiming that your phone uh, was pilfered on 2nd November, after which you filed a complaint, which was filed at Khamadi Police Station. What exactly happened, Fezan? Uh, my phone was lost, and huh. I already did complain at Khamadi Police Station. Huh. Today, Mumbai police, they came to me, to my house. And they uh, were asking about that call. Yeah. Um, I told them that I'm an advocate. Yeah. My phone was lost. Yeah. And who did this call? I don't know about that. This morning, uh, Mumbai police grilled you for how many hours? Did they grill you for two hours, three hours? Two for, hours. How, for how long did the invest, uh, uh, inquiry, the questioning happen? Uh, two hours. For two hours. Okay. Uh, aapko ek notice bhi serve kiya gaya hai? Aaj? Yes. Mumbai police ne aapko notice serve kiya hai? Notice serve kiya hai. Ye notice ko aapka statement aaj bhi record kiya gaya hai? Aaj record hai mera. आप हमें पूरा बताएं आपका फोन कैसे चोरी हुआ था क्योंकि वो नंबर अभी भी हम एक्सेस कर पा रहे हैं व्हाट्सएप के जरिए आपसे टच में आ पा रहे हैं तो किस तरह से आपका फोन चोरी हुआ था वो भी जरा हमें बताएं और जब आपने पुलिस को ये मामला बताया था तो क्या उस समय भी आपसे कोई पूछताछ की गई थी देखिए ये जो मेरा व्हाट्सएप था दूसरे मोबाइल पे चालू था इसपे जिससे अभी एक्सेस हो रहा है नंबर और सिम कार्ड दूसरे मोबाइल पे लगा था जो चोरी हो गया all right, let me quickly bring in Divyesh Singh, joining us live from Mumbai for a little more on that. Divyesh, a quick word from you on this threat call that's come to the Mumbai police station in Bandra, we hear. A man says, uh, we, I will kill Shah Rukh Khan if he doesn't pay up 50 lakhs. Now, the phone coming to a police station, uh, of course, that person, the threat caller there, clearly has the guts to do so. Do we know who this is? Clearly, the man whose phone it belongs to is, says it was stolen. What more has the police found? Well, the police has started investigation and the number belongs to one Faizan Khan and Faizan Khan claims that his phone was stolen. He had already filed a police complaint on 2nd of November. The call was made on 5th of November at the Bandra police station. Meanwhile, Faizan Khan has a history with Shah Rukh Khan. On October 29th, he had made a complaint to the Chhattisgarh police and to the Rajasthan police citing a film of Shah Rukh Khan which he done, uh, which was released in 1994, where Shah Rukh Khan talks about, where the dialogue of Shah Rukh Khan, where he claims that he has killed a deer and he asks his servant to uh, cook and eat that deer. 
So Faizan Khan, in his complaint, had claimed that uh, it was on this complaint which it could lead to enmity between two groups, and that is why uh, action should be taken against Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, complaints should be registered against Shah Rukh Khan, and also this film, uh, which uh, the film titled Anjam, should be banned by the Indian government. Nabila. All right. So you're saying the the Fazan, the man who's spoken to India today, he has history with Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, exactly. This is the same oh. Fazan Khan. We did speak to him, and Fazan is the one who shared this complaint with us. That he has filed complaint against Shah Rukh Khan. He also he filed. When did he file that complaint? October 29th this year. October 29th. That is just a few days back. Interesting. He filed this complaint online to the Chhattisgarh police. It was addressed to the Chhattisgarh police. It was addressed to the Rajasthan police, and right. uh, that is that is where he claims that. Uh, see, this is the copy of the complaint. This is the complaint copy which uh, Fazan Khan has shared with us. See, okay, here so, it clearly, so clearly mentions Fazan Khan to DGP Rajasthan, CP Jodhpur, and Chhattisgarh police. This That's is very interesting to note, Vivek. So clearly, the Fazan Khan here, the man in question, has history. Uh, he's already filed a complaint against Shah Rukh a, a few weeks ago. Now he says his phone was lost. He hasn't done it. But let's hope that the cops get to the bottom of this. Thanks very he, much for joining us. He also us. claims. All right, we're shifting our focus here to Karnataka. Karnataka's land grab war that reaches the JPC chief. JPC chief Jagdambika Pal met with farmers in Hubli. He said... Karnataka farmers have lodged a complaint. Farmers claim that the Vakf board has grabbed their land, which has been in possession of theirs for at least seven decades. Karnataka Home Minister Parmeshwara has hit back at the JPC chief, stating that this meeting is politically motivated. Former Karnataka Chief Minister Basuraj Bombay has lashed out at the Sidramaya government, accusing the government, the Congress government, of misusing their powers, using the Vakf board to gobble up land. He says that while the Vakf was previously under their control. That's the BJP's regime. Uh, there wasn't unfair treatment to the farmers, but now under the Congress, the farmers are feeling slighted. Look, in Hubli, we have got about 70 delegations, and here we have got about 1,000 people. बीजापुर के भी किसान मिले इनकी एक ही शिकायत है कि जब से इधर जेपीसी आपकी बनी है तो यहाँ पे लगातार करीब 38 परसेंट उन जमीनों पे वक्त बोर्ड की नोटिस शुरू हो गई हैं जो हम सैकड़ों साल से हमारे फोर फादर्स या इंसेस्ट्रल लोग उसको कल्टीवेट करते थे तो ये इसको लेकर के यहाँ के किसान आंदोलित हैं चाहे हुबली हो चाहे बीजापुर हो तो हमको तेजस्वी सूर्या जी ने कहा था वो हमारी कमेटी के भी सदस्य हैं मैं तो सोच भी नहीं सकता था कि है और यही नहीं केवल वक्त बोर्ड इसको नोटिस दे रहा है जिन पे जो एक आरटीसी है इसको कहते हैं रिकॉर्ड्स राइट्स टेनेंसी एंड क्रॉप्स उस रिकॉर्ड्स में भी चेंज किया जा रहा है मतलब जिस पे किसान के लोगों का नाम है या किसी स्कूल का नाम है गवर्नमेंट स्कूल का कॉलेज का नाम है जहाँ सर विशेषुरैया जी पढ़ चुके इतने बड़े साइंटिस्ट और वो स्कूल वक बोर्ड की प्रॉपर्टी क्लेम की जा रही मठ को मंदिर को क्लेम किया जा रहा है तो उस क्लेम करने का एक प्रॉपर तरीका होता है इज ऑल ए पोलिटिकल ड्रामा सिंस द इलेक्शन इज देर दे आर नो कनेक्टेड इट इज ए स्टेट लैंड इज ए स्टेट सब्जेक्ट बीजेपी दिमसर फैट स्टार्टेड दिस इन टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ऑल दे गिवन नोटिस इवन इन धारवाड ऑल्सो दे गिवन नोटिस It is the continuation of that, but my government is committed. We will not change any record. We will all rectify it. We don't want to affect any farmers. Already, my chief minister and my revenue minister has all set down record. All farmers will be protected at any cost. The JPC chairman has visited uh, Karnataka today. We met with farmer representations, farmer delegations in both Hubli. and now in bijapur you are seeing how thousands of farmers have assembled today the atrocity is being inflicted upon them by the vakf board is unprecedented and the state government has been actively supporting the vakf board in its predatory encroachment so this is a very organic protest that is happening in karnataka and in the last uh, couple of months 
more than 50% of notices received. There's been a 50% jump in the number of notices received just in the last three months because the state government here intends to change the revenue records before the new law is enacted. This is a dry high drama just to polarize the Hindu and Muslims and I am telling you not one inch of farmer's land or other than work lands, one of his government will go to work. I have clarified and have formed a task force committee. Task force committee, the gadget notification of 73, 74, is being verified with 50 years of revenue documents. What more you want? Where are the other members? What is a former MP doing in that committee meeting? What is other MPs who have no connection with the JPC doing in that meeting? Where are the other MPs from other parties? A joint parliamentary committee means the committee members should come. This is nothing but a BJP sponsored committee that has come today. Let him put a, uh, let him put a petition, we will see. First of all, we, we want to amend the WAF Act itself. It is against the constitution. Mm -hmm. Article 14, 15, which talks of equity. Mm -hmm. There is no equi uh, equity nor equal opportunities. And uh, WAF is not above the constitution, mm -hmm. nor above the land laws. Mm -hmm. But however, the misinterpretation of some of the clauses of WAF by the WAF Adalat and the ministers mm -hmm. has created chaos. Mm -hmm. So we're going to challenge it in the uh, legal challenge we're going to make and a moment farmers will start a movement in, in, in entire Karnataka. Uh, that's why the government has withdrawn the notification, fearing the farmer. But it's a temporary thing. The, the notification itself should be deleted. That's our demand and a big agitation is going on. Karnataka mein land jihad ho rahi hai. Land terrorism ho rahi hai kyunki hazaro kisanon ko abhi vakf ka notice ho rahi hai. Land ka mera apka jameen ko le rahi hai. Mud ko le rahi hai. Mandir ko notice ja rahe, kisanon ko ja rahe, logon ko ja rahe, sidara mein sarkar keval appeasement politics kar rahe. All right, we're taking you through news of Rahul Gandhi putting out a tweet. He says, according to the former BJP chief minister of Maharashtra, showing Baba Sahib's constitution, and raising voice for caste census is a Naxalite idea. This thinking of the BJP is an insult to the constitution maker, the son of Maharashtra, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. During the Lok Sabha elections, people of Maharashtra fought for the constitution, gave big victory to the Mahavika Sakhadi. The people of Maharashtra will not tolerate this insult of Baba Sahib by the BJP. They will protect our constitution by responding with full force to every attack on it by the Congress and the Mahavika Sakhadi. And all such shame and shameful attempts of the BJP will fail. Take it down. Caste senses will be done. A stern message there that Rahul Gandhi has put out on his social platform X, where he says uh, the BJP raking up the constitution issue, speaking of caste senses, uh, claiming this is a Naxalite idea is an absolute shame. This is an insult to the constitution maker, son of Maharashtra, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. This is Rahul Gandhi's words as the BJP had pulled up the Congress for giving out books that looked like the Constitution, but instead was an empty notepad, saying this is an insult to the Constitution. And on many levels, attacking the Congress to Congress uh, face, Rahul Gandhi has now retorted on his platform X where he says these kind of insults in the name of the constitution and then talking about caste census being an axolite idea itself is an insult to Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. He says further, during the Lok Sabha elections, the people of Maharashtra fought for the constitution, gave big victory to the Mahavikas Aghadi. People of Maharashtra will not tolerate this insult of Baba Sahib by the BJP. They will protect our constitution by responding with full force to every attack on it by the Congress and the Mahavika Sakhadi and all such shameful attempts by the BJP will fail, take it down, caste senses will be done.
Congress's big message, Rahul Gandhi puts their out in a retort to the BJP. Well, right ahead of Maharashtra elections, uh, we see there's some sexist remarks being made by some of the netas. It's not Maharashtra alone. In the latest, you also have a West Bengal minister, Firhad Hakim, speaking about a BJP leader, Rekha Patra, as Mal. Again, unapologetically, Hakim makes this comment while discussing her Lok Sabha election loss to Trinamool Congress in Basirhat. He's also taken jabs at the Prime Minister for politicizing the Sandesh Khali issue. Hakim's remarks has drawn severe backlash from the BJP with leader of the opposition, Suvendu Adhikari, calling it outrageous, demanding action against the minister. Meanwhile, a similar situation has unfolded in Punjab, where Punjab Congress chief Amrinder Singh has called his wife of no use because she wears lipstick and goes out. His wife defends her husband, but uh, Union Minister Ravneet Singh Bittu was quick to lash out at Punjab Congress Chief Amrinder Singh Warren, saying that this statement shows how disrespectful the Congress is towards women, wanting to confine women to kitchens. Listen in. <laughs> আমাদের দেশের প্রধান সম্মানীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রী শ্রী নরেন্দ্র মোদীজিকে যে বাসায় আক্রমণ করেছেন এবং আমাকে যে ভাষায় আক্রমণ করেছেন সেটা খুবই নিন্দনীয় একজন মহিলা খেটে খাওয়া পরিবার থেকে উঠে আসা প্রার্থী করেছিলেন নরেন্দ্র মোদীজি যাদের সহ্য হয় না তারা বারে বারে পুরোচিত ভাষায় আক্রমণ করে ব্যক্তিগত নিয়ে আক্রমণ করেছেন এবং কমিউনিটি নিয়েও আক্রমণ করেছেন আমার সমাজ নিয়ে আক্রমণ করেছেন সুতরাং এই অপমান সন্দেশকালে প্রত্যেকটি মা বোনের অপমান ਬਿੱਟੂਵੀਰ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਸ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਰਾਜਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਕੀਤੀ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਉਹ ਅਕਸਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਔਰ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਕਰਦੀ ਰਹਿਣੀ ਹੈ ਹੱਸਣਾ ਖੇਡਣਾ ਮਨ ਕਾ ਚਾਓ ਹਾਸਾ ਮਜ਼ਾਕ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਸਪੀਚਸ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਬੜਾ ਮੇਜਰ ਹਿੱਸਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਰਾਜਾ ਜੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਨਵੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਸਵੇਰ 6 ਵਜੇ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਾ 11 ਵਜੇ ਤੱਕ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਕਨਵੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਹਾਸੇ ਮਜ਼ਾਕ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਗੱਲ ਸਮਝ ਆ ਗਈ ਪਰ ਬੜੀ ਹੈਰਾਨੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਭਾਜਪਾ ਨੇ ਬਿਨਾ ਜਿੱਤਿਆਂ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਬਣਾਤਾ ਬੜਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਪਦ ਦੇਤਾ ਪਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਨਿੱਕੀ ਜੀ ਗੱਲ ਸਮਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਈ ਜੋ ਰਾਜਾ ਕਨਵੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹ ਰਹੇ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਤੋੜ ਮਰੋੜ ਕੇ ਔਰਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਇਨਸਲਟ ਵੱਲ ਪਾਸੇ ਲੈ ਗਏ ਆਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਸ਼ਿਫਟਿੰਗ ਆਵਰ ਫੋਕਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਟੂ ਜੰਮੂ ਐਂਡ ਕਸ਼ਮੀਰ ਅਸੈਂਬਲੀ ਰਾਕਸ ਰਾਕਸ ਬ੍ਰੋਕ ਆਊਟ ਆਫਟਰ ਇੰਜੀਨੀਅਰ ਰਾਸ਼ਿਦ ਬ੍ਰਦਰ ਖੁਰਸ਼ੀਦ ਅਹਿਮਦ displayed a banner on demanding restoration of article 370 he stormed into the well of the house prompting objections from the bjp netas the leader of opposition sunil sharma objected to these posters being displayed by the pro separatist mla scenes became ugly that the marshals eventually had to barge in to throw out some of the mlas many of them including the bjp meanwhile opposition party mlas including people's conference sajad lone has passed a resolution and condemned the abrogation of article 370 जिस तरीके से वातावरण असेंबली का खराब करने की कोशिश की गई असंवैधानिक तरीके से रेजोल्यूशन 
असेंबली में रखा गया उसको पारित किया गया हर एक को हक है असेंबली में अपनी बात रखने का विधायकों ने भारतीय जनता पार्टी के हमारे विधायकों ने अपनी बात जो थी वो सशक्त तरीके से रखने की कोशिश की बेल में गए लेकिन बगैर डिस्कशन के बिल जो था वो पारित किया गया और उस बिल को भी शोर शराबे के बीच में ये भी नहीं पता कि नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस के कितने लोग अंदर थे कितने लोग बाहर थे असंवैधानिक तरीके से जो था वो बिल पारित हुआ लोग जो है इनको कवायद और जवाब का कोई लिहाज नहीं है हम उसको चलना नहीं देना चाहते अपने अपने जो उनके वोटर्स हैं उनके साथ ज्यादती कर रहे हैं जिन्होंने यहाँ पर अवामी मसाइल को हल करने के लिए उन्हें भेजा था लेकिन आपने बिहेवियर देखा कुछ ऑनरेबल मेम्बर था वो हम उसको चलने नहीं देना चाहते अभी जो हुआ है सर अच्छा नहीं है यहाँ की विधानसभा बहुत देर के बाद विधानसभा लगी है इनको निकाला गया है मार्शल के द्वारा और क्या करेंगे ये तो वेल मे हैं आप आप हैरान हो जाएंगे नेशनल एम्बलम लगा हुआ है शिव सेक्रेटरी साहब की कुर्सी पर उस पर जूते पहन के उस पर चढ़ गए नेशनल एम्बलम पर और ये ये दावा दे रहे हैं नेशनल यूनिटी की आज मैं इंडिया अलायस के नेताओं से पूछना चाहती हूँ कि भारत की पार्लियामेंट और सुप्रीम कोर्ट का जो निर्णय सबको मान्य है उस निर्णय का अपमान उस निर्णय की अवहेलना करने का अधिकार कांग्रेस को एनसी को देश में किसने दिया मैं इंडिया अलायंस के सभी नेताओं को देश के नागरिकों और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्यकर्ताओं के माध्यम से आश्वस्त करना चाहती हूं कि संसद द्वारा पारित धारा 370 सौ सत्तर पुनर्स्थापित नहीं होगा और जम्मू कश्मीर को भारत से बांटने का उनका ये प्रयास कामयाब नहीं होगा